Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. Today we are renovating the 18 cob house, if I'm reading that correctly on my screen. <laughs> and we are uh, renovating this apartment into an apartment for uh, four students, I believe. I think I had I made space for four. Um, I posted about this a couple of weeks ago on my community tab and on my social media and I asked you if you wanted me to do an apartment for a group of students or for a single mother with uh, her children and it was very close um, in the end but uh, this option of like student living um, won and I'm really excited to, sh to share it with you. Uh, I had a difficult time figuring out um, the color scheme here. I initially wanted to create a like a pastel-y sort of um, vibe, but I just could not make it work. Um, and I added a lot of like saturated colors and just didn't work out for me. So I think I ended up going with um, like a blue, um, mostly vibe in here in the main spaces and each of the bedrooms is a little bit uh, different so the colors you see here are just going to be completely different i uh, cut out a lot of the things from the speed build because there was just a lot of me trying around colors and other things so it was just um, not working out uh, for me before I go any further, let me give you some information. So as I said, it's the 18 Colbert House um, unit. It's for four sims. There is, there are two bathrooms and four bedrooms. Uh, no, sorry, three bedrooms. There's one bedroom for two sims and two single uh, bedrooms. And the uh, apartment comes in at 60,959 simoleons, which I thought is not bad. So I was thinking maybe that the, the two sims that live in the biggest bedroom may be like siblings who like own this apartment and they rent the other two single uh, bedrooms to maybe their friends or some other students they uh, met uh, so they can make some extra money um, since they have this apartment and they, they had the space so they could rent uh, it out. I really like the way it turned out in the end even though it took me a really long time to figure out the colors here and I really am happy with how it how it's looking um, so I think this is going to be I'm, I'm not even sure um, like what color the wall ended up being because as I said I changed it so many times and it's been a while since I built this um, now that I'm recording the voiceover and I just I just can't remember <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I was very indecisive here. Um, I've been very indecisive lately about like color schemes and things like in general, which is not something I do very often, but yeah, it's fun. I try and experiment with different colors, different textures, different things. Yeah. Um, now we are still working on the living room. I'm adding lots of clutter because I imagine that students, you know, have a lot of things laying around. Even though I feel like for a student apartment, this is fairly um, clean and um, good looking. I, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine that um, a student apartment can get very messy. And we are cluttering up this uh, unit, this bookcase from uh, Discovery University, which is really cute, and I'm adding a bunch of like figurines and just decorations on top. Um, so yeah, I'm recording the voiceover again ahead of time because that's what I've been doing um, for quite some time now. And so this like end of uh, April for me. I just finished my last exam of the semester, so now it's uh, just about finals and. If you follow me on social media, you probably know that I decided to kind of split my uh, finals because I have a double major in geography and English and I have two finals that I need to do. So that's two sets of questions, 40 for geography and 45 for um, English. Maybe the other way around, I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, the thing is that it's a lot to learn in one sitting and I have about a month now on my finals and I just uh, thought that it would probably be better for my mental health uh, to kind of split it so I'll do my English uh, state exam or like finals um, now 
and I will leave geography for September uh, or like August, September uh, so I can enroll into a master's program um, in, in um, October. So I hope it will work out for me. So yeah, uh, I'm taking a break now at the end of uh, April after my exam. So I'm kind of catching up on some uh, voiceovers and buildings. I have uh, four builds, five builds now, uh, like finished and ready to go. I just need to like record the voiceovers and finish the editing and everything. But yeah, I, I'm very happy about that because I want to be like ahead of schedule for the summer because I want to really spend my summer a relaxing and b studying so i want to kind of get a hat on on my recording schedule so i can have a, a video weekly for you i completely talked over the kitchen so sorry about that but there is nothing really special about it i really like the colors there and uh, the layout is also pretty uh, nice and now we've moved on to the bigger bathroom here i don't have the other one on camera because it's pretty much uh similar uh, but it's smaller. So here we have a uh, laundry, uh, we have a shower top combo, we have two sinks and we have plenty of decoration and some things that you know in real life would be useful like a sweep if that's what it's called and um, like towels and some like baskets with clothes and just some decorations which in the sims are not usable uh, but I mean it, in real life it would be very handy to have those in your apartment if you want to clean or uh, do your laundry and things like uh, things like that. I think we're almost done with the bathroom just adding a light and then we're going to move on to the hallway which is quite spacious but with the floor plan that I chose I just needed to have um, not needed to have this is what I ended up with. I added um, a dresser here, a mirror, some plants, some decorations, and I also added a chest table and one of those like hanging boards from a snowy escape, which I thought would be cool as like uh, maybe like a whiteboard that the roommates like write stuff on, maybe like what to buy, who has to clean when. Uh, so I, I felt like there was like, like a cool realistic aspect uh, to add uh, to uh to the build because you know obviously when you're living with your roommates you might probably need something like that to kind of divide uh like chores and stuff like that so i thought that would be uh pretty cool and realistic and now we've moved on to first of the bedroom so this bedroom is for an artist so i made it into like a yellow um purple color scheme with like very light wood and i thought that this person is probably into like really into art maybe architecture i'm not really sure what you can study at university in sims 4 i haven't i should have checked before i started doing the the apartment but i was just lazy <laughs> so i didn't check anyway i know that you can study like art for sure so that's what this sim probably is doing I uh, I added an easel some like decorations some like cute um, mural on the wall which I believe is from snowy escape which went perfectly with like the color scheme that I went with and I thought it would be cool like maybe that the the sim that lives here painted this and they have like maybe it's like their favorite um, TV show from the, when they were kids I don't know just thought I would it would be cool and now we're just adding some decorations at the foot of the bed, some books, and I'll be adding um, a painting on the wall. I believe from the yeah the quartz, the max kit, which this is really cute. I love this painting. I wish it came with uh, like a wooden swatches as well, but um, like white and black are cute as well. Uh, I also added a yellow um, a wardrobe, which is from the. Um, update that we got with the, the CC um, creators uh, items. I believe this one is, was made by Peacemaker, but I could be wrong. But I believe that one, uh, this is one of my favorite items to use from this, uh, as well as the uh, like console table that I actually used in the living room here. Um, and now we are moving on to the second bedroom, and this bedroom is for like a tech sim. I'm not sure how, what the item, uh, not the item, what the name of uh like the degree is but i added like the robotics station here so is it like a programming or yeah 
Maybe you can tell me in the description because I have no idea. <laughs> but I felt like it was a cute addition. So maybe this sim is really into like text things, programming. I could have probably given them a computer, but I did not have the space here, unfortunately. They added some um, posters and I also added this decoration from Discovery University. It didn't really have any swatches that I liked. So I added some like musical swatches, which I thought was like kind of universal. Um, and I'm also adding some decorations again at the foot of the bed and I think we're almost done. <clears throat> I'm sorry about if my voice is kind of dying a little bit, but um, my brother brought home COVID and I might have it too now. So my voice is a little raspy and weird. So <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I think we're almost done with uh, the room and then we're going to move on to the last one, which is the big one where uh, there are two beds for two sims. So I didn't really have any like specific degrees in mind here. I think I ended up adding like a keyboard, like the keyboards and like a station, uh, not station, <laughs> like an office area with a table. And I might have added a computer, but I'm not sure. No, no, no. I think I'm not sure. Yeah, I am not fully. 100% sure if I did or not. I feel like I might have but maybe I only added like the tablet that we got um, That we have in the game. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait and see um, I also added uh, a dresser and some like decorations that like uh, go with uh, the build as well I wasn't really sure if I liked the way this like uh, the rooms looked with like those bright colors But in the end, I think it's really cute and I think it's Kind of captures this young spirit of students very uh, well um, as well. So yeah, I'm just adding a bunch of decorations, and I'm gonna be just cluttering up um, some surfaces and just adding a bunch of clutter because I feel like students are messy. I'm not. I'm a student and I'm not messy, but I live at home, so I can't really be messy, can I? Uh, but yeah. Um, I felt like it was realistic to have a lot of things in your rooms, especially when you're living in a dorm and like shared living, you need, you have a lot of stuff, but the whole apartment is not yours. So you have to kind of, um, fit stuff, uh, into one room, if you understand what I mean. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything from today's speed build. Thank you so much guys for stopping by. If you want to download this build, you can get it on the gallery. My ID is Michaela Sims -Y -T, or you can get the tray files in the description box below as always on my uh, coffee page. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. I really enjoyed building this. I hope you like it too. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. We are very, very close to 1000 and I hope I can get there by the end of uh, May. So yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you in my next speed build. Bye.